So the new investment law, which came out on the 1st of April this year, we have applied to broaden our license. Previously, we were a company that dealt with storage, which allowed us to store on behalf of independent companies in Myanmar that were importing and distributing fuel. Now we ourselves have uh, made an application to broaden our license so that we can import, store, uh, sell and distribute fuels. Uh, and that license has been granted by the MIC. Obviously, in terms of our industry, it's a big change. It's the first time that an international company has been licensed to operate in this part of the market. So it's a, it's a pretty fundamental change. So we will be able to offer a retail proposition. Uh, we'll be able to deliver fuels directly to uh, commercial customers. And we'll be able to import product as well directly into uh, the, the tanks at Tilawa. Uh, we expect consumers to benefit through the improved quality of the product uh, and extremely accurate delivery of the product so that both quantity and quality are delivered. And we also expect to be able to do so uh, at a competitive price. Clearly, we believe that Myanmar was an attractive market and one which we were prepared to invest in. Overall, we've invested over $170 million in the country so far with more to come. I could imagine it would be attractive to international investors and the, the, the investment law itself, I think it, for a, a broad range of industries, has made Myanmar a more, a more interesting and maybe an easier place to consider investing.